my pranams to each and every one of you. We are all going towards that same path of enlightenment, the divinity. What is after all divine? Diving in is divine. Unless we dive in, where is divinity? When you dive and there is illness inside, it is devil. It is absolutely as simple as that. Nobody now, all the religions, they tell you, you should not be angry. But did they tell you how to come out of anger? To a, a teenager, you tell him, sex is wrong. Hearing you, afraid of you because he is physically dependent, financially dependent, emotionally dependent, he will try to suppress it. It is repressed, going into his dark area of unconscious mind. And when you are not there, when there is total darkness, every nonsense will come out of him, because it is repressed. Or, too much controlled boy, everything comes out in a dream. Dream is nothing but the same phenomena. Dream is when you are asleep, the same unconsciousness continues. It is as simple as that. Dreams and thoughts, they are one and the same. In the morning you have thoughts, in the night you have dreams. They form the same plane. No religion is telling you how to come out of, because you are having a body, you are, they do not tell you, the parents, teachers, religious masters, they do not tell you how to get over it. But they say something is wrong, you do this, you do not do that, only rules, but how to do that, they do not teach you. They say, study well, but you should come first. No parent tells the boy. Interestingly, happily enjoy the subject. If he enjoys the subject, tomorrow if he is an engineer, he will become a good engineer. If he is a doctor, he will become a good doctor. By coming first, how many people will come first in a class of 50, only one. What will happen to the other 49? If you learn so totally, you want to help, you want to learn the subject, so enjoying the subject. If you are enjoying the subject, what will happen? Automatically, you will come first only. You will learn the subject so well. Examination will not become a phobia. Examiner will not look like a devil. They are helpful people for you. So, the whole aspect of our process is going wrong. Religion, every religion teaches you, this is wrong, this is wrong. They only teach about rituals, karmas. Tell me, do all the wrong things and do the karma, will he become, will he go to the heaven? It is only for your satisfaction you are doing something. You cannot change anything. You have to transform yourself. You have to become your own guru. You will have to become everything yourself. You are the guru. You, are the, you have to uplift yourself. You have to uplift your own atma. You have to transform everything yourself. Now, everything is going wrong. How it is going? You just see. We are never happy in anything. 
always our tomorrows we are looking at our tomorrows our best is yet to come i am going to happy later and tomorrow again day after remember all tomorrows will be today tomorrow so there is nothing like tomorrow this moment if you are perfect everything is full that is why all the upanishads they talk about only this moment if you are with this moment everything is good nobody need to tell you you should be peaceful keep on telling talking about god what will you know if you know about god if you repeat his names oh great god you are god is great if you keep on writing his name ram 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 whole body what will what is going to happen he is going to be happy he, you can fool him you can fool your god just by yes ram is a beautiful mantra no doubt about it when you utter it there are changes krishna there are changes by uttering but if you want enlightenment you need to go through only meditation only meditation naam japa everything is beautiful temporary solutions for permanent problems but permanent solution for permanent problem is only meditation if you happen to suddenly when you are going out of your house and there is a stinking smell somewhere you feel that a rat was rat died and where you could not locate what you are going to do you are going to burn one incense stick agarbatti or something like that and then go to our some scent bottle fragrance and then you will go to the office but after you come back what are you going to do you will have to search that dead rat and pick it up and throw it similarly in meditation it is a surgical operation on the pus filled wound of our mind lot of garbage is inside whatever garbage is coming out empty glass you stir how the stench will come if garbage is within then only the stench will come on stirring the garbage is within the stirring is actually all the greatest masters very simple truth there is nothing which can cause imbalance in you everything is self contained the problem is within the garbage is within you are reacting to the changes that are happening within our own self you are just reacting to the sensations buddha says you are reacting to the sensations that are taking place within there is nothing outside outside is only a tool to initiate the process that is why so when the body is so many kalapas all the matter it is made up of wavelets waves particles everything it is changing changing billions of particles are dying every moment you are a new body totally every moment you are a new body maitreya who has started his speech is different from the maitreya in this particular moment he is a new body now he is new totally a new body the world has gone but he looks to be the same maitreya because the same in 1/16th of a second 16 films are rolled in one second the film happens continuously they are individual scenes in a scene in a film when you are just rotating 16 films in a second it becomes a continuity but actually it is all a sequence 
a sequence of films, sequence of stationary images. The same thing is true with us. I appear to be flowing, nothing is true. It is the same bulb, whatever you are looking at this particular moment, it is not the same bulb. It is different, different set of electrons are entering, flowing. That is why you pay to your garment, electricity. You are a new person, you are a new water, a new body, but we do not see it. So, in billionth of a second, new kalapas are forming. Now, let us see what is happening in the mind. Let us analyze what, what our mind is. Mind is also, Buddha says, it is four stages, vinyana, sanya, vedana, sankhara. In Pali language, it is called vinyana, sanya, vedana, sankhara. The very word samskara has come from the word sankhara. Sankhara is an act of formation. Why we are reacting continuously? You just see. Vinyana means consciousness, sanya means perception, vedana means sensation, sankhara means reaction. In every moment, we are only reacting, we are not acting. We are reacting because our past conditioning is influencing in every moment we undergo. The past is interfering in this present moment. Let us analyze the whole of our sequence of our mind. It is said, Buddha says, even Krishna says, Shiva says, it is a fast fleeting mechanism. The mind, it is in such a fast way it is moving. Kalapa, it is billionth of a second. Now, it is billionth and billionth and billionth of second is mind. So fast it is going on and you will not be able to handle it yourself. By the time you know you are unconscious. So many bubbles will be there in a bucket when you are putting and disturbing the water. Lot of bubbles are there. You will not be able to see the bubbles that are internally happening at the deeper layers. Only the bubble is seen outside. But by the time you see the bubble, but preceding that bubble, lot of sequencing of bubbles have taken place. Same is the case with our conscious mind. By the time you are knowing that you have anger, it is so powerful that you cannot do anything. So, all the religious teachers, they keep on talking about what is God, what is anger, what is jealousy, what is and none of this should happen to you. Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Madha, Matsyarya, nothing should happen. Who does not know this? But did they give you any technique? Long, long, long ago it was forgotten. So, what is happening in the whole process? Consciousness starts, it is ending with reaction. And the whole process is just see consciousness, perception, sensation and reaction. And each moment's reaction is the cause of classifying in your next moment whatever you disliked whatever there is raga in the next moment is further raga you will classify as good whatever you have classified as dvesha aversion you will the next sequence will be more of aversion and this continues the cycle continues so fast that you are not able to handle it any longer. So, the problem is in meditation what we are doing is the fourth stage where you are having craving and aversion. 
fourth stage is aversion and craving the reaction so each reaction let us say i will give you an example let us say somebody knocked on your door his name is satish he knocked at your door the moment you open if it is happening for the first time the data is reaching you neither you have classified as a good or bad and you are just simply it is pure consciousness let us presume one more example your previous exper ex experience with satish is you have a fight and he has knocked at your door now what is going to happen the raw data which are supposed to record as it is now you have classified him as in good and bad instead of classifying you have classified him as bad because of your previous reaction with that person you have classified him as bad because you have classified him as bad you will have an unpleasant sensation where in your unconscious mind not conscious mind and now that unpleasantness what it will do you will dislike now repetition of disliking will become aversion so this happened in 1 billionth of a second now what will happen in the next sequence it becomes deeper and deeper and deeper that is why it is said conditioning of mind will take place your mind is programmed to believe this reaction now all the addictions are classified under this only if you are if you are addicted to liquor if you are addicted to smoking the moment you see a liquor bottle the moment you see a alcohol or the moment you see a cigarette if you are in the past you had a pleasant sensation reaction was craving then in the next moment immediately there is a saliva in your tongue there is a pleasant sensation in your unconscious mind somewhere happening a sensation a pleasant sensation in your one of the parts of your body we don't know so we are reacting not to the outside reality at all we are reacting to the sensations that are taking place internally let us say you are a lady and your mother in law she had a fight when you were young after that she died and then she had become a holy person a rishi now you don't know but you recollect the incident and you are angry again she is not there emotion has come back to you somebody has slapped you on the road you had a picked up an argument and what you, what will happen you just see it happened only once near a charminar you were going with your bike and you picked up you, it has hit for his mistake you uh, he has slapped you now he has slapped you once and you slap yourself millions of times by recollecting that incident now just see what is the trauma that is taking place is similar in all our cases so unless you become a meditator and try to take out take that sensation whatever is classified as pleasant and unpleasant unless you know it as a passing phenomena it is arising and passing away it is impermanent phenomena and then your reactions will stop only when you are there is no pleasantness there is no unpleasantness then only it will stop but this is continuously happening in the next moment also we will continue with our deeper aspects of meditation in our coming classes and we are all lucky because it is a great science of the mystics it is not my wisdom the wisdom of all the buddhas of the past 
all the Krishnas of the past, all the Krishnas of the future and all the Buddhis, Buddhas of the present and the Krishnas of the present. God bless you.